we have a family-friendly event that your kids are sure to love. Well, the whole family, really. And here to tell us more about Old Zach's upcoming trick-or-treat event is Scott Ford. Welcome to the show, Scott. Thanks, Aubrey. Thanks for having me. Well, you know, if you haven't been out to the waterfront lately or through Old Zach, I'm sure there's always a lot going on and there's always new stuff popping up. And this weekend, you are going to have a trick or treating event. That's right. That's right. Uh, to your point, I mean, there's always fun things going on on the, on the waterfront. I mean, Old Sacramento Waterfront, obviously the oldest neighborhood in the city, but uh, but always new things coming in. So this weekend, one of the busiest weekends of the year, quite possibly. Mm -hmm. um, we've got the trick or treat event, as you mentioned, this Sunday. So October 27th starts at noon, goes until candy, uh, candy runs, runs out. out. <laughs> but uh, there's plenty of candy down there, though. So I, I don't think it's going to be a problem. But um, family friendly, you know, it's uh, if, if Heart Stopper is a little too scary for you, I think Old Sacramento Waterfront <laughs> is is your place this weekend. Yes, daylight and out in the open, maybe a little feel a little safer, um, but you may see little ghouls and goblins walking around. So who's participating in this? How does it work? We have dozens of merchants uh, down there that are going to be uh, official uh, trick or treat stops uh, on Sunday, so mm -hmm. they'll be participating. There's also, you know, lots of candy stores, lots of sweet stores, and, and we really want to invite the community to come out and just explore the district. There are literally, you know, over a hundred locally owned businesses, all with kind of unique things. A lot of them are doing Halloween themed events this weekend, so there's there's so much to see. Come out, yeah, come I out guess and enjoy. Yeah, it'll be all dressed up over there. Speaking of dressing up, do you need to wear a costume? Costumes are highly encouraged, right. yeah, and, and if you don't have a costume already, uh, Evangeline's in Old Sacramento Waterfront, arguably the best place anywhere to get a costume, so Very come on out. Very authentic, yes. an authentic. Yes. So, you know, it's great for Halloween, sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, what else can people look forward to at the waterfront? There's so much happening this weekend. Uh, Stage 9 Entertainment, whose headquarters are in Old Sacramento Waterfront, uh, they're having their uh, villainous anniversary weekend, they're calling Ooh. it. So they're going to have Disney greats up from Southern California uh, doing uh, different uh, different pieces of Disney art. There's going to be professional pumpkin carvers out there. Kids, families can, can come out. They can carve pumpkins. They can learn from the pros. Um, that's going on uh, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. So, I mean, that's really exciting. The uh, California State Railroad Museum uh, is doing their annual Spookamotive train ride. So, Ooh, spooky. so we encourage people again to dress up for that, take uh, really exciting, you know, one hour trips up and down the Sacramento River on the Spookamotive. Uh, Hornblower River Cruises, you can take, uh, you can take Halloween themed river cruises up and down the wow. Sacramento River. Scott, uh, you could go on and I, on. I really could, what yeah. What about um, this Dancing at the Waterfront? It's kind of like the finale this that's, weekend. Yeah, that's another great series. So every month uh, we do outdoor, free Latin style dancing. Uh, if you can't dance like myself, don't worry <laughs> because they do have dance lessons at the beginning from 6 to 6.30 um, and then uh, dancing all the way till 10.30 at night. Great music, really good energy, an outdoor beer garden on the waterfront. So uh, just a romantic, great event to, to come out to and, and bring a date or just come out and enjoy. Uh, it's, there's just so many things happening that right now. That sounds so fun. And that's just this weekend. Just this so weekend. there's all kinds of exciting stuff going on at the waterfront every weekend. What is it that you're most excited about at the waterfront these days? You know, just it's it's already just such an authentic, great experience down there. But mm -hmm. uh, you know, every month there's new businesses coming in. There's programming year round, um, and you know, I go down there just on my days off and I explore. I find new things in the stores. You know, I explore the alleys, and there there's great businesses that are kind of tucked into places that you wouldn't expect. And just getting out on the water. I mean, there's there's new businesses coming in that are going to give people opportunities to get out on the water. There's new Ooh. boat cruises that are coming. There's there's all kinds of exciting things. Um, we're working closely with the city of Sacramento. There's large scale investments that are planned along the waterfront over the next couple of years. So I think we're celebrating what is really authentically Sacramento down there, which is great. But we're also, you know, always refreshing it and always just adding new programming, new things for people to do. So it's, nice. it's just an awesome place. So one more time, I can handle the trick or treating. That's yes. on Sunday. Sunday. What time does it start? Starts at noon, but I recommend getting there early. Get you want to go to the schoolhouse, <laughs> 1200 Front Street. That's where you'll get your map to all the participating locations. Okay. And, but uh, um, it's always a popular <laughs> event, so arrive early. All right, Scott, I'm going to be out there with my little trick-or-treat bucket. I'll have my kids collect it, though. Please do. Shh, don't tell. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thanks, Aubrey. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.